Oh no. This turned out way better than expected. Pretty much perfect. It's not in the way. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is, well, implementing this in my fume extractor and thus making it version 3.1 so let's get it by the way all the DIY projects right here watch them all but before we get started love kusau too all my subscribers thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max so let me try to give back with a sweet sweet video so in the last vlog you can check it out right here i reviewed this well my new tube it's a six inch aluminum tube i guess and it's not really long but at least it's kind of flexible so i think this will yeah be fine i guess Oh, oh yeah, right. I did remove the tube in an act of desperation because I, oh, oh my God, I remember. I did use my angle grinder to cut a car tire and it started to smoke, to create so much smoke, but I had to, like, I had to keep going. It was just so much smoke and this little tube wasn't extracting enough. So I just cut it all open and yeah, this made it a bit more effective, but yeah, that was so stupid. Anyway, so now we're left with this one. So let's remove all of this tape. Hmm. Well, it that. Mm. Check this out. So the thing is, it's not big enough, but it's like actually fitting quite nicely inside here. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> well, that's just how it is. But yeah, I, I will have to use more space tape. So yeah, there is just no other way, I guess. But yeah, space tape is awesome anyway. So yeah. I think it's, I think it's fine, but maybe, maybe one more round. <laughs> Just one more round. All right, that should do. That should definitely do. Hell yeah. Let's go. I think this is doing way more now. Let's go. Let's see what I can do when it gets to this tubing because that is actually the, the more interesting part Well, the more difficult part the more interesting part would be the smoke I guess but anyways This tube is just a bit too short if it would be just a like a bit longer maybe one meter longer 50% longer and I could use this from top to the table check this out it's so close it's so close I thought about making this the point of contact this thing up here of course and then connecting it to the white tube and maybe like come coming from like yeah what this is way better oh my god That. I was thinking, whoa, this lamp is really doing me solid by kind of clamping the tube in, but now this happened. Yeah, right. Oh my god. I'm so, I'm literally so stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, I, oh, oh, I would think a bit. So I just found two of these, one of them already came in clutch up here, and now paracord. Okay, so up here is now paracord and I think I might be able to just mount this thing. Jeez, yeah, sorry Ronin. So these are connected with more tape and now I have too much. So I will cut open this one again. Okay, and now, oh my God. Now check this out. One second. This turned out way better than expected. Oh my God, let me show you what I came up with. This is crazy. Okay, so from the window to this little part up here, this one up here, then there goes the first paracord thingy line. This is attached to this, to this wood up here. The paracord goes all the way to the lamp actually. And then there is this thing, this thing is movable. This little knot right here, I can move this to the left and to the right. And then there is this, this big loop right here. This suspends the tube perfectly over my work table. This is so cool. This is pretty much 
perfect. I could like do a little thing, a little stand that's on a table to perfect to uh, position it perfectly, or maybe like tape it to this lamp, to this lamp right here. And then it would be, I could, I could move it with this lamp, but oh my goodness, this is so perfect. Let's turn it on. Yes, 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 yes. This is what it looks like now. And the best thing is I can just walk through my workshop regularly. It's not in the way. It's not in the way at all. That is so cool. This turned out way better than expected. So cool. It is so cool, oh my goodness. Let's go. Yeah, and lastly, let's do something stupid. Let's set this thing on fire. And you know, fumes, hot fumes, they always rise up. So it's perfect because you know, it goes up and then gets sucked in. Yes, yeah, let's go. That is so cool, I love that, oh my god. I hope that's visible on the on the thing, this is amazing. Whoa. And I can just sit here and not die of the freaking fumes. That is perfect, let's go. Okay, so yeah, way better than expected. But yeah, that's it for this one. Smash that like button away. Fume is getting smashed by my new 3.1 Extractor, bang the bell like crap, pop, to never miss DIY projects and whoop, check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow.